so hey guys so welcome back and to my channel i know it's been quite a while it's been already five months since the last time i up uh, and like uploaded a video but it's just that i haven't been in the best mood to actually make any videos but i guess i'm back now i feel a lot better now but yeah so um in the past few months i've been looking for a job i've been actually worked at different locations i've been at ross victoria's secret and tj maxx so if you guys would want me to make a separate video of me talking about my experience working at those three stores comment down and below and i'll make time to make those videos but yeah in this video i'm gonna be focusing on um on today about an hour ago i had an interview at home depot yeah i had finally got an interview there i actually had one back in 2018 at that same in location but uh, they did like it, me they were like you know we think you 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 would be perfect for for our for this um in like in, in like position but um back then i had school during the morning so you know i was like you know i could only come from i would i would, I would leave school at around two and i would be, and i was just like i could come from two to at least six seven and apparently the, back then they didn't have time for, they didn't have a spot for that um on the schedule so the so the, so they were like you know right now we don't have you know something that that will work in according to your schedule so yeah so i was kind of sad about that i had my interview on, on the saturday and, and it was just with one with the manager so he was like you know i'm sorry but right now we don't have any spots for that schedule so i was like okay and they were just like oh if we do end up having a spot then we'll call you they didn't and i don't know i feel like it i feel like <laughs> it was just an excuse that they didn't want to like hire me but i was just like you know what just just let it just you know just like let in like move on so anyways past that um like I mentioned, I've been looking for 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 a job, so I step up on Indeed. I always go on the website, which is a good website. So if you're looking for like a job, I'm gonna leave down in the in the in the description the link to to like that website because it really really it's really and like helpful. So if you're looking for a job, make sure to click down below and go on that link. So yeah, so I step up on an ad from like Home Depot that said that they were like hiring. So of course I was like, I need a job, so I'm gonna go and apply. So I applied. I applied last Tuesday or I think I think it was Monday or Tuesday between those days. So I applied. I actually I don't want to be a cashier. I just don't want to be a cashier. Um, it's not that I hate it. It's just that I don't like dealing with customers. I feel like in every every job you do, you're gonna have to deal with people. But I feel like cashiers have a lot of a big like struggle. Because you know that you know they're like the last person that the customer uh, you know sees like you like usually they're the last person that and, and that they see unless there's a like then unless there's there's like a greeter in in the store but you but like usually the cashier is like the one that plays them one of the, one of the major jobs um when it comes to like to like customer service so yeah so I just don't want to be a cashier so. I was looking for different and like positions at uh like Home Depot. They had like merchandise. They had the ones that are that take out that take care of 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 like the carts. I don't want to do that. So I found this one that what's customers. I think it's the position is called cu like customers and sales. I was like, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. You know. So of course I applied to that one and I apply on Monday or Tuesday. And guess what? The next day, I received an email from Home Depot, I didn't receive a, 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 a call. I received an email saying that they were like, congrats, you have been moved to the next and like hiring process. We would like to know the time and the date that you can come in for an interview. And I was, and I was like, oh my God, that's incredible. So I went on the link and, and that they sent and they were asking me a few questions. They were just, you know like personal questions they were like oh are you are you okay with the payment with like the salary the pay rate there is 13 an hour which 
wow that's incredible like i've never worked for a uh, for like a company that 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 and that has paid like in like that much because the previous job they have been like 9 10 11 just there but 13 and in, in, in like an hour that's incredible like i was like yeah I, like i can work for that so they were just bunch you know just asking me oh are you available to to like work during the weekends you know just stuff like that and one thing for sure is that if you answer no to one of the questions you're immediately out then you're not you're no longer um qualified to that in, in, in like in like position so make sure that and that you all say yes 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 if you really want in in that job so after you're done like answering those questions um the final thing that you have to do is pick the date and the time you're you're like available to go to the to the um in like interview and that's what i did um for me i think it only gave me for two day thursday they they had for 10 11 11 30 and 12 of course i'm like the type of person that i can wait so i'm like i'm gonna do it the earliest as possible so i pick at uh, 10 a.m so i went right now it's already 12 20 so it's been quite a while, like a while. So I went there. I actually went left my in my house at nine thirty. I just wanted to get there on time. I ended up getting there like around um nine forty five. So I was there quite in, in like early. So yeah. So since I knew where the office was, since I went there back in twenty in in eighteen, I mainly like went there and there was an employee there and I was like, hey, I have like an interview in like two and two day at ten and he was like, Okay, and come in. So they took me back in inside in like the office and he told me, Oh you you can just sit there. The the managers they are having an interview like right now, so you're gonna have to wait and when they're done they'll be out and it will, and they'll be in like your turn so i waited there like around 20 minutes of course the patients they were killing me i was like oh my god how much longer like i was getting so nervous but finally the person that hey guys sorry in, in about that my phone will like run out of battery so i'm gonna be like recording from my um from my and, and like tablet so yeah so like i was saying the person that they were like um and like interviewing they she came out and then I went inside the and like the office. They were like, "Okay, so what's your name?" I was like, "You know, my name is blah blah." And I told them. They were like, "Okay." The first question that they ever asked me was, um, "Why do you want to work for for like Home Depot?" So I told them that one of the like the first reason and like ever was because I love the store. I love their their and like their prices um, because you know the quality from the products is really they're really and, and like really good and the prices they're you know for such good and the qualities that's that's really and like amazing my another another reason why is because ever since i was little my dad he would always take me there to spy stuff for his workplace and for like the and like the house and we would spend there for like three hours just just like looking like for for like different things and um also as a customer of have, have, have like experienced very good in the customer service um and I want to work for a company that makes me feel like like the employees are like all like a family. You know, it's just stuff like that. You know, just try to make try to make something positive. You know, something that and, and that they wanna like hear. So yeah. Oh, one and like one more thing. Another thing that I forgot to like say was that um. Usually you get only the manager is there to like interview you but in this case there was the manager and the assistant manager there so i was like freaking out i was like this is the first time that two people actually are like are gonna you know and like and, and like interview me but you know they they were like really nice it was um the manager where he um it was a guy and the assistant manager, she was a girl, but they were both nice. They were extremely nice. And they did make me feel, in like, comfortable. So it wasn't like they were, so like, so strict and they were, like, smiling. So, yeah, I, I was nervous, but not that much. Um, but I was still kind of freaking out there were, that it was two of them. And they were both, like, asking me, in like, questions. But, yeah. So then the second question was my availability. I told them that... Um, uh, I could only work during the mornings. I could do shifts from 7 to probably one two three because at uh, the afternoon and like evening i have school 
and I could only work Monday, Wednesdays, Friday, and Saturday. Of course, they did tell me that they would kind of require like the weekends. That that's like that's one of their like their only qualifications for that job. I was like, oh, I really need this job. So I was like, in my mind, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna try to work things out. Um, and I was like, hey, um. At what time do you guys close on Sundays? Because I wasn't really planning on working on on Sundays. So they were like, oh, we usually leave from here at 9.30. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. You know, compared to my uh, to like my previous job, we would I would get shifts from 6.30 p.m. to 2 in the morning. So, so you know, but if you guys like leave at 9.30, that's, that's fine with me. So, so I really wanted, you know, to make and, and, and like things and like work out. So I was like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So... Um, I, you know, I gave them my, and, and like, avail and availability, so they were like, okay, just, the, the, the assistant manager, she was, in, 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 like, writing, and, like, everything, and that I was saying, so, yeah, so, I was really expecting this question, tell me about yourself, <laughs> I was expecting that question, but they never asked me that question, they, 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 they just didn't, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna talk about myself then, so, yeah, so, then came up the different types of questions that and that they always and like usually just like ask during like an in, during like um in like an in, in like an interview you know what would you do if a customer this is a question that i did like and, and like and like look it up and i did watch a video of this girl saying that she was asked this same and in, in, in like, in like exact and like question and it was what would you do if a customer comes and like up to you and and she or or, or or like he is looking for a product but you don't know like what it is like what would you do so i was just like i started off with saying okay that's a kind of more like like a difficult and, and like scenario but i would try my best to help them and, and, and like the customer out i wouldn't just leave them there just be like i'll be like right back and just leave and like and, and like never come back because because i, cause I and like a and like a customer, I've like experienced that that I have come to to like an employee like, and I've I, and I've like asked them for like help, and they have been like, oh, uh, we'll be right back, and then they just leave and they never come back, and then I'm just there standing like an idiot just waiting there, and I'm just like, yeah, they're not gonna come back, and then I'm gonna have to look for the item myself. So I'm like, that's something that I I know. And like how it, and like how it feels, so I don't want a customer to feel that same way. So I would try my best to like, to like help them out to looking for the stuff and that they're looking for, or if not, if I can't really look for it, or I don't know, and like what it is, I would try my, I would actually go to up and like up for, I would like look and like for someone else that could actually help and like the customer out, and you know just provide good and like customer service. Um, try to ask questions or like what is it made of um like what are you planning on using and, and like this item for just questions and, and like that and i really like that so they were like okay and like, and like good job so there were uh, another question that they did ask me was have you ever worked in ha uh, in in with like other people you know in like in like like teamwork and i've and i've told them oh yeah i used to work at this place and I used to work at Ross and TJ Maxx, and I told them that we opened the, in like the store, so they divide us into like different groups. Like in the morning, a certain group would be doing home, and another group would would, would be doing um, men's. Another group would be doing um, kids, and then and I told them that I work in, in with in, you know in like in groups, and we um, we had a goal that in the in that we needed and like to complete by a certain time so i kind of just told them that and they and they also told me if i've ever dealt with you know difficult <sighs> co-workers and i'm like yeah multiple times and then in, in, like, in like multiple times so i just told them yeah you know there's sometimes my co-workers they don't want to do their jobs and they told me oh so how do you like handle that and i'm like yeah you know i you know i took in, 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 in like a deep breath and i was like you like and i was just like trying to like maintain that and like positive um thoughts and just saying you know what it's my job i'm gonna have to do it you know i'm gonna i'm not gonna make a big deal like you know just there's always gonna be like people that they're not gonna do their their like jobs so you know you have, you have to do and like understand that so i just um just answer that with like you know with like a positive thought and and yeah so 
they didn't really ask me much questions. They were just like, um, I feel like I'm missing something. But to be honest, I do feel that I'm like I'm missing something. But yeah, they they only ask me questions like that. Um, they also told me the he was like, oh, the, in like the manager and and like the manager, he was like, so what are you studying in college? I'm like, oh, I'm studying like criminal justice. I want to be a lawyer, of source in, in the community. And they were like, oh, that's good. That's good. So yeah, they, that was pretty much it. Uh, and like all the questions and that they asked and of course at the end they were like oh do you have a, like any questions and like f and, and like for us and i was like i do um another thing i mean it's very important to ask questions after an interview you you know you just don't want to be like no i don't have questions at all because i know for sure there are things that you still don't know so that's the time when you could come and ask them be like hey so how does so how does the clock in work how does um what if we don't what if we're not able to come like in, 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 in like a certain day can we like call and, and like and like and like let you know or do you guys pay like in like weekly or or like every in like, in like two weeks of course you kind of want to ask them questions you know because they, they want you to be they want to see that you that you're like really interested on the job so ask questions i was like oh what's the um, and like the dress code like um just stuff like that and i even asked this question because the because like the manager he was like any more questions and i'm like yeah have you ever dealt with a with like a rude customer and they were like all the time you know it's it just happens we get a uh, different people in the store you know we have those those customers that are really really nice and respectful and we have others that sadly wake up on the wrong side in another bed and they come in you know being all rude sorry for that it's my phone they come in being all in all rude and you know so yeah so yeah um another another question that i asked i was just like so what do you like best about working here and they were just saying how the company treats them well and and how they just love doing what they're doing you know they're enjoying their um they have they have years there one of them was has been there for 28 years i'm like that's amazing staying with one company that's that and that's incredible uh and i and i was like you know what i just hearing you like you're in like your stories really makes me want to work here i kind of told and just like told them that you know and they seem really really like happy with my with my room with my and like response so yeah so at the end they told me that they still have multiple people to interview i saw the list because the manager had it there and i saw it in like the list and they had a lot of people to like interview like in the front and end of the story they have we are hiring so i'm like <laughs> yeah you're gonna have like a lot of people so the manager he was like hey um we have a lot of people to like to like and, and like interview we'll give you a call if you get picked so so pay attention to your phone he was like oh so we can call you to like this number and i'm like yes you can call me there so yeah um so now i guess i have to wait for uh for a call and if i don't receive a call that's because i didn't get the job so, so fingers crossed that i did that that they that i that i get that call because like honestly the situation and like right now it's very very difficult for a lot of people you know the pandemic hit and a lot of people have lost their their jobs and you know we have got bills to pay and we can just be at home living the good life because there's just, they're just no there's just no money you know we need to pay bills so yeah so that was my experience you know my interview and like experience at um at like home depot i hope i get the job you know it seems like a really good um place to work at um so yeah <laughs> fingers crossed that i did get that job but either way i'm gonna be updating you guys with my status if i do get a, a, a um a call back i'm gonna make a video and about that and and what it's like to work there so yeah so if you guys have any questions, leave it down below. Um, please and subscribe, share, I don't know, comment down and like this video and 
yeah, I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. So, yeah, I'm sorry for being all away for so long. Just that I needed to get my mental state together. I was, I, I've been going through a lot of things right now. But I felt like I needed to make a new video after five months. You know, I've been seeing that I've gained a lot of subscribers during the last like few months. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I have like 95. <laughs> like when I left, I had like, I don't know, like around... Um, like 30 subscribers I think around there 40 but now I have like I have like 95 thank you so much um, guys I will make more videos for you guys so stay tuned for that and I hope you have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye take care